Yeah, I'm gonna have to partner quality of this vi this uh video. But um I was getting that black screen that everybody's talking about. Um even got the white light of death. White light of death. Now, mind you, I'm showing you this after I fixed it. Uh, pretty much, basically, I uh, was turned on the PS4, was getting the black light, no signal, no signal. Uh, the, the controller was even acting funny. Like, I pressed the PS button, it would turn it on. I hit the PS button again to turn on the PS, PS4, but it would uh, basically turn the controller off. Something. It was just weird. So uh, basically, all right. So for everybody who's going through the black light of death, I'm not gonna hold you up because I know how I was looking for it, and I want people to get straight to the point. So I'm gonna get straight to the point. All right. So it's gonna either be two things. One, you put your uh, you played on played your PlayStation on an older TV, and it needs to change over, which you put it in the safe mode. I'm sure you probably already watched that vehicle, that video. If you're at my video, then you're probably having that didn't work basically and you're still having the same issue so all right so what i did was um came over here and take you guys and once again forgive me for the quality but you know back there where your hdmi cord plugs in at it uh basically it um you, you know you look at those fine tooths on there and basically me pulling it in and out um, because I'm I'm only working with one HD core right now between the TV and the game. So once I want to play the game, I have to switch it over manually because I broke my other HDMI cord. So, yeah, so basically by pulling it out, I messed up one of the grooves on the teeth. So you can take a razor, tweezers, or um, a little flathead, a little mini flathead screwdriver, and basically you want to take a light. Make sure it's a good light. You're in great lighting. Take a really good look at the fine combs and the fine teeth, and I'm sure you're going to find one of them off the groove. Be very careful because, I mean, you can break one off, you know, by bending it too much and it'll bend and break off. So what you want to do is be very careful. Look at the position that it was in and the position that it got bent in, and you want to slowly take your flathead or your razor and just... Go with the go with the groove of it and bend it back to the place very carefully, very gently. Don't yank the uh, flathead out once you're done. Slowly, slowly, and kind of go underneath it or over top of it and kind of push it down to the board. You know, it's basically the uh, you know those gold um, you know little coils and teeth, fine teeth, and you're basically just putting it onto the board, man, and just. Like I said, be very careful. Make sure you have great lighting. And uh, this is my result. I was, man, I'm talking about it's, what, what time is it? It's 7 o'clock, dude. I've been trying to play since 3 o'clock. So, whew, finally found it, man. I just wanted to share it with you guys. Um, hopefully, you know, you guys appreciate the video. Um, subscribe. Hit the like button. Got plenty of content I'll be dishing out. Once again, forgive me for the quality of this vi this video, but once again, if the uh, safe mode does not work for you, I'm sh more than sure this is the issue. And depending on how bad your the teeth on the grooves are damaged, I mean, you could do it yourself. I only had one little tooth that was off that was giving me the black screen. So I kind of fixed it, put it back, crossed my fingers, and this is what I got. So I am back. Controller's working fine. And we are in business, baby. King Rio, man. King Rio. Let me see. Periscope. I'll let you guys see my periscope, man. Up. 
Uh, no, I can't remember my fucking code. Uh, shit, I got it. Uh, yo, what the heck, dude? 